Today's video is on racket face awareness. The racket face never lies. Wherever the racket face is pointing at the moment of contact, that's where the ball is going to go. So knowing where that racket face is going to be important for you as a player. Now, as an example, let's say I wanted to hit a forehand down the line and I have an eastern forehand grip. An eastern grip, pretty much the racket face and the palm of the hand are in the same position facing my target. Okay, so if I want to hit the ball down the line, I'm letting the palm of my hand go in that direction. Now, if I wanted to hit the ball cross court, there's not a whole lot of change. You've got to move the racket about 20 degrees. So I'm going to hit the ball a little earlier out in front to hit it cross court. But not a huge change. That's down the line, let's say, right there with the racket straight up. So now if I want to go cross court, I'm hitting it out in front more. And now the palm of my hand would be facing cross court. So I'm going to hit it a little earlier and out in front. And that way I can hit cross court. So being aware of that racket face is really going to help you as a player. Now, especially when you're close to the net. Okay, if you're a doubles player, racket face awareness is key. Let's say you're in close to the net here and you've got your continental grip now, which you use for both your backhand and your forehand volley. If you want to hit the ball down the line, you see, you're going to have to make an adjustment because with a continental grip, the racket naturally wants to go cross court. Okay, so I have to move my wrist and forearm in this position. So again, it's only that, you know, 20 degree change that I'm making. So if I want to go down the line, I have to get the racket here facing down the line and I'm going to go down the line. Now, if I want to go cross court or hit a sharp angle, I'm hitting it earlier out in front with the racket in this position, the ball is going to go cross court. So remember, the racket face never lies and use your mistakes and your shots that don't go exactly where you want them to go. Use them as feedback so you can start to make those little adjustments that you have to make. Remember how you're holding the racket, the grip is key to racket face awareness. For instance, I have, a, I have an Eastern grip here, let's say. Now if I go to Continental, look what happens to the racket face. The racket face opens. If I go to Semi-Western, the racket face closes. Okay, that's just semi-western. I'm not even at full western. If I went to full western, the racket would look like that. So understanding these grips and knowing the position your racket face is in is going to help you as a player. Okay, on the backhand side, the reference point is going to be the knuckles on the hitting hand. Wherever those knuckles are facing, that's where the ball is going to go. So if you have that eastern backhand grip, or even if you have a semi-western backhand grip, where you turn it more, it closes up the face, you want the knuckles pointing towards your target when you make contact. Okay, here's a quick clip of one of my favorite players from back in the 80s, Heike Marazzi from Morocco. Check it out. Opening two games of this set. Stopped the tide a little bit, hasn't he? Marazzi, as uh, you said at the start of that game, David, an important game for the Moroccan. A good hold to 15. He would have been a good uh, six-gun shooter, wouldn't he? With that? So remember, racket face awareness. Haikum Arazi. Uh, I'm not as good as Haikum, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm working on it. Ah, there we go. Let me try it one more time. Okay, not too bad. I'm getting there. So anyway, 
Racket face awareness, big part of the game, helps you become a much better player. So work on that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, post any comments or questions. I'll do my best to get back to you.